North Dakotans know this to be true wherever we go. We can usually find a connection back to our state. We like to say all roads lead to North Dakota, and all books about North Dakota lead to a Mott Man's Home Library. Kevin Carvel has been collecting North Dakota books for years, and now his collection has grown to more than 14,000 volumes. Jody Kurzman has the story from Mott. They all have something to do with Kevin Carvel's plains and nature. Fascination with books so. dates back to his childhood. There's nothing but land. Now it's retired. Books are still so. his favorite hobby. I read every day and you know sometimes you can finish a, one book in a day. Kevin's home library is proof of his love of the written word. And some are pretty rare. These, these Here he's books. got more than 14,000 books. It's the first book written about anything about southwest North Dakota. All of these books have a North Dakota connection. And this is the story of his adventures in those days. I've got one book over there uh, by a well-known novelist from Minnesota who just in on two pages talks about, well, Mott, North Dakota, actually. And he, he gives it a, a sort of thumbs up by saying, he said, you know, they produce the brightest kids, the highest SAT scores of anywhere in the country. As a native of Mott, that's Settlement one of Kevin's favorite books. It's from 1856. Kevin has been building this collection for years. It's a 1955 publication. It traces back to the seventh grade. That's when he overheard the eighth grade lessons on North Dakota history. And I was intrigued by it. He slowly started building his collection. This is one I just picked up too. This is just out. And thought, why not collect every book that mentions North Dakota? Dakota Territory is about North Dakota or is written by a North Dakotan. And this one happens to be autographed too. He's got so many books he had to build an addition to his house. His collection includes poetry, fiction, nonfiction, family histories, government documents, 17 kids, even school yearbooks. I count everything. But with this many books, it's hard to remember which ones he's read. Yeah. These yeah. sticky well, notes sticky help him keep track. Well, that's a sign that I haven't, I haven't read it. Kevin admits he may never catch yeah. up. Here's a book by a guy from Steele named Lawrence Knudsen. Friends are constantly sending him new books to add to his library. Northeast North Dakota. He isn't quite sure where he'll store those new editions. I'm doing, beginning to panic here, so. You know. But he will continue stacking these shelves with books. This is the book I finished just a couple days ago. All part of a love like story Burdick, to his said. home state. Uh, the father of Quentin Burdick. In Mott, I'm Jody uh, Kurzman, reporting for not, your news leader. Well, of all the books in his collection, Carvel says Dakota Days remains his favorite. It was written in the 1880s by a man from Massachusetts who moved to the Mott area to raise sheep. It's a pretty rare book. Only 300 copies were ever published.